what's going on and welcome back man i've been wanting to make this video for a long time you guys can probably guess it maybe i'll show what's behind me that's right got project stepchild in tow behind me we are headed to the track going to a local eighth mile track um this is actually a nice track they actually had uh street outlaws run there before so uh it's a really nice track and i'm looking forward to it eighth mile um i'm not gonna get too heavy into it at first i'm gonna take it easy with the first couple passes because honestly i don't know what to expect from the car with all the changes that i've made so so let's think about the changes went to the 15 inch wheel conversion new slicks running slicks this year uh 456 gears and just got finished installing the k member so man lots of changes the car is basically totally different so i'm having to relearn or learn again you know what i learned from uh from how it was before so i don't know we're gonna see what happens not sure what to expect hopefully the car is faster hopefully i don't have no issues and i do still need to make sure that the wheels are going to fully clear when uh the car squats and the suspension back there compresses so first couple passes going to take it easy hopefully i'll be able to find out that information and then um you know after that see if i can make some some pretty hard passes so anyway we'll see what happens let's get there we're going to the track Hold them up, hold them up just a second. Let's make sure you get off the other end. Camera drivers, get ready. Camera drivers, get ready. This is your first time running. All right, guys. First pass. We're just going to try to uh, get a little bit of squat in it because I need to check the wheels. I don't want to do too much, I just want to get the squat and we'll see what happens. was a little off but you know I was trying to just squat it I don't know that was <laughs> that was fun as hell man it's been a minute since I've been to the track
interesting. The uh, got a ton of wheel hop on that pass. I do not know why. That was insane. So that's going to be slow. ABS light is on. Airbag light is on. Car didn't like that at all. Well, those lights just went out, so I don't know. It didn't like that. But I'll tell you what. She was on ass. Probably a crappy time just because of the wheel hopping and spinning, but she was hauling. Alright y'all, so it is the next day from the track and man, I got the car in just in time for it to rain so I knew I was uh, pushing it but thankfully it is in. As you can see behind me, stepchild is up on the left. Uh, I do want to cover a couple things with the passes real quick and um, that is the first pass. I was just trying to get the car to squat. Um, I wasn't really trying to, you know, get a good 60 foot or whatnot, and it kind of backfired on me in the car. When the clutch actually did grab the car, bogged it, fell on its face, so I just nailed it and uh, made a pass out of it. But then uh, the second pass, um, I tried to basically send it. I mean, I revved it up to about 5,000 RPM or so. Tried to load the clutch a little bit, and I was using the line lock to stage the car and it went into some horrible horrible violent tire shake so not quite sure what caused that but um i gotta get under the car that's why i've got it up in the air i've got to check it out because tire shake can break a whole lot of things so i need to make sure everything is still good to go under the car because we got less than two weeks to four takeover and uh if anything's broke I don't have much time so um, I definitely want to get under here and check it out really good and uh, you know see what I see so I'm gonna do that real quick and if I see anything out of the ordinary I will definitely let you guys know all right y'all so the cost of trying to go fast with a manual transmission car I'm gonna try to see if I can get you up in here to uh, see a couple things first I want to point out is this front bolt, the front differential bolt right there. I'm not sure if I can get the camera in here to see, but if you look at where the differential housing meets the insert metal part of that bushing, you can see the housing is a little bit higher. Let me get you around to this side, hopefully, if I can. And let's see if you can see 
where the diff housing meets that brace, that's the Steeda brace, you can see that it slid a little bit up. So we got that issue, and then I did notice that my camber links, now I've run the nut all the way out, but that nut was loose, and both of those were loose. Now they weren't, you know, back that far off, but I, I did that, so I'm going to add some Loctite in there, but those are loosened up, so I need to check and uh, see if the camber is off. My buddy Michael's got a camber gauge. He said he's going to swing by, and uh, I'll see what I can do with it. I'm just going to compare it basically to the passenger side because I don't think that threaded part in the middle, I don't think it moved because one lock nut was still locked tight. So I'm just going to compare the driver side to the passenger side and, uh, you know, make sure we've got the same settings that we had before because I don't have time to take it back to the alignment shop, unfortunately. So I'm going to do the best that we can. Hopefully I can check it and as long as I feel confident that it looks okay, then uh, we'll let it ride. So, but I wanted to point those out. And uh, that's what tire shake can do. Luckily, nothing is broke that I can see. But yeah, tire shake is nothing to mess with. And uh, it could have been a lot worse. So but we got to get those fixed up for sure. So I definitely have some work to do on the car. But thankfully, nothing major. Now, the bolt that I showed you on the differential, um, to me, it does look bent, so I'm going to need to change that out, get that fixed. Unfortunately, I have to take apart that side, suspension-wise, and pull the axle, which it's not too big of a deal. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's just a little time-consuming, but have to do it. I can't leave that bolt in there like that. Um, it would make me nervous knowing that it's, it's bent like that, and it could break. So definitely don't want to take that chance, but... That's going to do it for this one. We didn't really learn a whole lot at the track because we made some very less than stellar passes and only got two in because they took forever to clean up. Some guy kissed the wall and it took them like almost two hours to clean it up. So yeah, I only got two passes in. But is what it is. We're going to get the car fixed up, get it ready for takeover, and hopefully, hopefully there we'll make some decent passes. We'll see. But... With that said, hope you like this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we'll see you on the next one.